This is Annie. This is Betty. And we're gonna make biscuits today. Isn't that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you need to make biscuits? You need to start with two cups of flour. All-purpose flour. Hey, All right, start. Go ahead. How much flour? Two cups. Mm -hmm. Two cups of flour. Two cups of flour. Better your piece. Good. So you've got your flour, your baking powder, and your salt, and you just give it a quick sift together with a fork or anything. And then the fun part is you take a scoop of lard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do it. Do it like that. It's about a third of a cup is what the original recipe called for. Actually, the original recipe called for a third of a cup of butter, but um, mm. about a scoop of lard will do just as well. So there's your lard. Oh. And with clean hands, <laughs> you smush the lard into it and the texture you're going for is kind of like sandy. It won't actually be sandy, but it'll look like sand. It's not in there. We'll take care of you in just one minute. We'll get that little arm up in it. Okay, I think we're just about there. If you want to start mm -hmm. recording again. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is with your hands. You can do it with a pastry cutter or with a fork, but really, this is the easiest way. So the texture you're looking for is when you pick it up, you can squeeze it into a ball, but then it immediately crumbles when you put your fingers back in it. Okay, let me rinse my hands off really quick. Um, this is buttermilk. Actually, it's not buttermilk because today is grocery day and I ran out of buttermilk, but this is milk with a tablespoon of vinegar mixed in it to sour it. So you can use that or you can use buttermilk or you can even use yogurt. Um, normally we use buttermilk. Mm. So it's a, um, a cup light, three quarters cup to a cup. We like kind of wet biscuits. So we do closer to a cup. So you pour that in and you stir it up until it's just combined. You don't want to overwork biscuits. They get tough. Okay. So I think, no thank you little hand. Okay, I think we're just about there. So now we're gonna turn out that biscuit dough onto a floured surface. So there's some flour. Oh, let me grab a spatula. Okay. Get a little bit more flour for your hands. What we're gonna do is fold the biscuit dough seven times. So you flatten it and you go one, two, three, four, five, rectangle of dough. Now we roll it out. To, I don't know Chris, how thick is that? Hmm? How thick is that? I don't know. Uh, finger thickness? Yeah, so nice. roll it out to finger thickness. Okay. And now we will cut the biscuits. If you have a biscuit cutter, awesome. If you have a mason jar lid, even better. Thank you. 
you roll your biscuit, push and make about nine biscuits. We'll re-roll the rest of it, there's about twelve biscuits. Going on the baking stone. doing just mushing the biscuit dough back into shape again so we can make those last couple biscuits do you have to fold again uh no not as many times just mush it into the right shape uh -huh. okay so two biscuits and then just enough biscuit dough left for giving some to the kids and making the ugly biscuit. How hot is the oven? The oven's been preheated to 450 degrees. You want a hot, hot oven? Sexy. Watch your film cord. Yeah. Let's see how well I can do this. <laughs> Oh, they need just a little bit more. Oh my. We're just gonna rotate them and give them like eh, three more minutes. Oh, those look. Okay. Yep, biscuits are ready, baby. So there's the ugly biscuit, which is everybody's favorite. And the ugly biscuits. Ah. All right, these are gonna be Italian style biscuits. So instead of using ham, we're gonna use capicola and we're gonna use an ultra ball, uh, I think that's pronounced guanciale or something along those lines. This, you can eat raw and you perhaps should eat raw because it's better that way. This, if you eat this raw, it's gonna put you on your ass. Don't do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice it, not too thin, not too thick. Nice and fatty, nice streak of lean in there. Lots of flavor. I don't really want to fix that for this, but it's going to cook down just a hair. Put it in there, it's going to take the other half, it's going to be a bone like that. Alright, and then we are going to get our crazy cast iron hardware. <laughs> and throw it on here. Uh, where's the thing? This right here. Uh, maybe throw it on medium high. This is my great grandmother's little skillet. Big Mama, little skillet. All right, so we've got our guanciale sliced. We're gonna take each slice of it and just into the pan, not for very long. Okay, so we've got our guanciale lightly cooked. Put that there with the capicola. And hang on one second. Wipe this down just a little bitty bit. And then this over here is lardo. We're gonna use this basically instead of butter or regular lard. So I'm gonna take this fish and fillet knife that my best best friend brought me a million years ago. And we're gonna cut off couple slices of that, as thin as you can, I'm kind of in a hurry so I'm being a little sloppy. <laughs> Hang on Betty. Betty wants more biscuit. Betty is a traditional southern girl. Okay, so that's gonna be probably enough for just a couple of people, just a few slices. And now we're ready to dress the biscuits. Let me. Okay, so take a biscuit, cut that bagger in half. Let's get a, I had a plate, but it doesn't matter. That guy, split them open. Piece of lardo. Another piece of lardo. Capicola. 
piece of that. Put it back on like yonder. Same thing over here. Oh, he's already got what you call it on it. Capicola. Double dose for this one. One chali. And a biscuit. Money shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, he will. Turn it off. 